Hello everyone, welcome to this session on UI versus UX by IntelliPad. In the world of design, there are a few well-known debates that are never quite settled. One of the big ones is the difference between user interface design and user experience design. The difference between user interface UI and user experience UX is that UI refers to the aesthetic elements by which people interact with the product, while UX is about the experience a user has with the product or service. In this session, you will learn all about the differences between UI and UX. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Now let us be clear of the agenda for today's video. Firstly, I'll be introducing the concepts of UI and UX design. Next, I'll move on to the roles and responsibilities carried out by these roles. Next, I'll move on to the tools used by these roles. Next, I'll be talking about the learning path taken up by UI and UX designers. Next, I'll be comparing the salaries of both the roles. And finally, I'll be talking about the job title UI slash UX designer. This is the industry standard nowadays. So all the job postings you see online will be posted as UI slash UX designer. And I will be busting this myth of UI slash UX designer in this section. So now that the agenda is clear, let us move ahead with the video. Introduction The very first thing to address here is that UI stands for User Interface Design and UX stands for User Experience Design. The name tells us the essential difference between these two roles. UI refers to the visual and aesthetic elements that the users interact with while using a digital product. A typical UI would look something like this. Here you have buttons, text boxes, icons, divisions, graphics, typography, and other visual elements. On the other hand, we have UX, which refers to the experience or emotions of the users that are invoked while they're using your product. Even if the UI design is exceptional with aesthetically pleasing elements, if the users have a bad experience while they are interacting with the product, the product is not considered a success. The process of UX design starts before the work of the UI designer. They are responsible for researching the market for insights. They have to come up with wireframes and prototypes of the product. Finally, after many iterations, the final design is given to the UI designer who draws on pixels and makes sure every detail and color is up to the standards of requirements. Now let us move on to the roles and responsibilities of each role. The job role and responsibilities of a UI designer are as follows. Firstly, they'll have to take a look at the design briefs to get a better idea of what is needed. Next, they'll be creating style guides, design systems, design patterns, and appealing user interfaces from requirements. The job roles and responsibilities of a UX designer are as follows. So their responsibilities include consultation with clients to determine their objectives. Then internal and external stakeholders are being informed about the outcome of user research. And finally, they'll be carrying out usability testing. Now, let us take a look at the tools used by each of these job roles. First, I'll be giving out the tools for UI designers. And the first tool is Figma. It is the best UI design tool for collaborative prototyping. Next, we have Adobe XD. It is the best UI design tool for prototyping on Windows. Next, we have Sketch. It is the best UI design tool for prototyping on Mac operating system. Next, we have Axior, and it is the best UI design tool for technical UI designers. Now, let us move on to the tools used by UX designers. Firstly, we have Mockflow. Mockflow aids in wireframing, site mapping, crafting design specifications, collaborative review, screenshot annotation, and even site hosting. Next tool we have for UX designers is Stories on Board, and it is primarily used as a user journey or story mapping solution that invites UX designers to plot software project pathways. Next, we have Design Mirror. Here, designers can display their interface designs on the most popular smartphones via Wi Fi, USB, and browser link. Next up, we have Smart Look. The key features include always on recording and replay of real video recordings that track how users interact, along with heat maps for highlighting precisely where they click most. Now let us move on to the learning path taken up by UI and UX designers. In order to learn UI design, you can follow the following steps. Firstly, you need to understand the fundamentals of design. Next, you need to enroll in a user interface design course. 
and you need to learn how to use the most important UI design tools. Next, you need to develop your UI design skill by working on your own projects. And finally, you need to create a portfolio to show off your user interface design work. Now let us move on to UX designer learning path. They need to read and learn everything there is to know about user experience. They need to recognize what UX designers perform on a day-to-day -day basis. They need to learn how to use UX design tools. A UX design course or bootcamp can help you structure and formalize your learning. So you guys can enroll in a bootcamp or an online course. Next, you need to get ideas from top designers. You need to take inspiration from uh, designers who are well known in the industry. Next, you need to start networking with other UX designers to build your portfolio. Now, let us move on to the salary comparison between the two roles. So, according to Glassdoor.com, for a UI designer in India, an average salary is about 5 lakh rupees. And in the US, it is around 77,000 US dollars. Coming to UX designers, we have 8,000 rupees as an average salary in India. And in the US, we have $100,000 on an average. Now, let us move on to why the job title is sometimes called as UI slash UX designer. So, many of you may be wondering about the job role that is posted as UI slash UX designer on job portals like LinkedIn, Glassdoor and Indeed. So, I'll be uh, putting out a quote here. This was said by Jonathan Budowski. He was a CEO at Maze. So, he says, The roles of UI and UX are being redefined all the time. In three years' time, the definitions will have shifted from what they are now. It is not an exact science. Now, let me uh, expand on this. As we have seen in the roles and responsibilities of each job title, the line of difference between them is blurry, meaning that the responsibilities of a UI designer may sometimes overlap with that of a UX designer and vice versa. The other factor here is that big corporations like Google and Adobe will have fundings to hire for specific roles like UX researcher who only conducts market research for their product. But medium-sized companies and startups will hire one person to handle everything and call the job title as UI slash UX designer. That's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Just a quick info guys. Intellipad provides advanced certification in UI UX design. This course is developed and mentored by ENICT IIT Guwahati. The course link of which is given in the description below.